Even those hoping to run this country can't travel its roads. This presidential candidate's helicopter lands at a spot which is just a two-hour drive from the capital, a journey considered too dangerous for him. Previously foreign minister, Zalme Rasul is seen as President Hamid Karzai's chosen successor. That support, however, could also come with a legacy of corruption linked to this government. The Karzai government has got, will, you know, will be very well known for a long time for horrendous levels of corruption. You were part of that government. What will you do differently? I think, I, I, first of all, I've not been involved in any corruption issues. And I repeat myself that the fact that I've been involved, I know what's happening. I know which, which, which kind of thing we should do to correct that. I want to put this experience that I got uh, in the achievement of the lack achievement mm -hmm. in the service of the Afghan people. While Rasul was foreign minister, Karzai refused to sign a bilateral security agreement with the US, allowing some foreign troops to remain in the country, throwing relations with the US into crisis. The fundamental of relation of Afghanistan to the United States is solid. We have problems, the problems happen with the friends. I was personally involved on drafting it from the Afghan side with my other colleague. I believe that the national interest of Afghanistan has been respected in that. It is in the interest of Afghanistan and the United States. And I'm hopeful that this BSA should be signed soon. In Jalalabad city, speeches are heard by thousands of locals, including supporters of warlords. Of the eight men running for president, Rasul is one of only three to have a female vice president. But like political campaigns the world over, image and protocol mold themselves to campaign locations. When in the capital, candidates like Rasul want to present themselves as the future of a modern Afghan state. But in reality, when they travel out to the provinces, to areas like this, 13 years since the fall of the Taliban, there is not a single woman in this crowd. He was educated in Europe's finest schools and has worked as a technocrat at the highest levels of the Afghan government. His legacy as a descendant of the old royal family is seen as an asset in the eyes of many Afghans. As a candidate, he will be seen as a vote for continuity. If Afghans decide they want more of the same style of government, then he stands a very strong chance of leading it. Jane Ferguson, Al Jazeera, Jalalabad, Afghanistan.